Massive exchanges have long been a major point of centralization within the crypto industry, with this being further confirmed by recent actions reportedly taken by some major exchanges to pose a hostile takeover of the Steam blockchain using stakeholders' deposited tokens. This comes close on the heels of Tron's recent acquisition of Steemit, sparking an inquiry into whether or not one can accurately deem the blockchain as being decentralized due to this governance flaw. The Steemit saga continues evolving following recent Tron acquisition as previously reported by CryptoSlate. The Justin Sunlet blockchain company Tron recently conducted an acquisition of blockchain platform Steemit, a popular content sharing platform that utilizes cryptocurrency to reward users for sharing content. The acquisition was aimed at bringing the dApps that have been built on the Steam blockchain underneath Tron's umbrella with Justin Sun announcing multiple different initiatives aimed at bridging tax into the Steam ecosystem in a recent open letter to the blockchain's community. We have so much to work to do to make Steam it, calm the power that it really can be. And there are many ways we can get it there, from bridging tax, Shredder S and Shredder S into communities to marketing and growing Steemit.com. It now appears that the latest development in the Steam saga is that some major exchanges have essentially hijacked Steam as delegated proof of state consensus, DPoS, using depositors' tokens. Big exchanges conduct takeover of Steam as DPoS, highlighting a centralized point of failure today. News began spreading regarding some major exchanges using depositors' tokens to cast votes on Steam SDPOS blockchain, essentially taking over the blockchain using their clients' tokens in what one user describes as a hostile takeover. Vitalik Buterin, the Ethereum co-founder, spoke about this in a recent tweet, noting that this may be the first clear instance of a de facto bribe attack on coin voting. Apparently Steam DPoS got taken over by big exchanges voting with depositors' funds. Can anyone confirm and slash or provide details? Seems like the first big instance of a de facto bribe attack on coin voting, the bribe being X giving holders convenience and taking their votes. Bob Lacus, a well-known analyst and market commentator, chimed in regarding the topic noting that individuals who hold their tokens on a centralized exchange are knowingly sacrificing their rights to vote on the blockchain. The depositor may have a balance at the exchange, but do not have rights on the blockchain. They exchange that right for a paper guarantee, all for the purpose of speculation. If th. You can read full post on CryptoFans. News, link available in text below.